Yo, yo, what up, everybody? Thank you, whoever's tuned in right now. Who we got in here? Yo, what up, Snow Black? Thank you for tuning in. Yo, it's br today. Woo, today. If I 23 out right now. I don't know if y'all can see on the Apple Watch. Woo, it was cold out this morning, though. Boy. The wind chill was like 5 degrees. Little brick out. So, yo, I'm going to lower this for the, so you guys can see a little more of my warm-up. Yo, it's full upper body calisthenic workout today. It's going to be a tough one. Trust me. A little more on the advanced side, but everything's going to be scalable. I'll show you guys how everything can be scaled. And like always, we're going to start with shoulders. You guys just saw me doing some, band, uh, some bar rotations. Now I'm going to really warm up the wrists, stretch out the forearms. Staple warm-up you guys should also include in your warm-ups right now. Varies, make, especially if you're doing a lot of calisthenics and ring movements, make sure you're warming up the wrist. You guys want to aim for 15 to 30 second holds in each position that you're stretching your wrist in. Right now I'm doing 15 to 20 seconds in each position. I'm going to hit a few positions. We're going to go into extension and flexion stretches. So I just did two extension. I did supinated grip. I did pronated hands on the floor. Now we're going to do uh, extension, palms down. Actually, top of your hands on the floor. And we'll stay in flexion and we'll put our wrists facing each other, hands facing each other and we're going to lean. So when I lean left, I'm stretching the right wrist. When I lean right, I'm stretching out the left wrist. Now back into extension. Same thing. Now when you lean left, you flex the left wrist. You're stretching the left wrist. Lean right. Right wrist. All right, so, like I said, it's gonna be a full upper body calisthenic workout. Yo, I told you if you, yo, thank you whoever followed me, followed along yesterday and tried that leg routine. My legs are lit up too, bro, hamstrings, everything. I, I encourage you guys, if you didn't try it, go watch yesterday's live workout, full leg workout at home. You literally need no equipment. All you need is a chair to do the workout and it'll blow your legs up. So today, all upper body, cause you guys, like I said, let me lower this a little bit. Like I mentioned earlier in the week, I'm coming off a deload where I took a good almost 10 to 14 days off of real training. So I was on vacation in Mexico, came back to the deload. So instead of getting back on a body part split where I was doing chest on Monday, 
legs on Tuesday, shoulders Wednesday, back Thursday, and then back to like a full body day on a Friday. For this first week back, I went to an upper lower split to get more volume in. So Monday I did upper, Tuesday I did lower, Wednesday was upper again, where I went live with that German volume training, and I apologize again, that video got deleted off of YouTube, I was, I'm honestly pissed off about it. But then again yesterday, I went live again for the lower body workout, and everything's been like, a, yesterday was all calisthenic legs, with the German volume training we threw in some barbell work, today is going to be predominantly calisthenic based upper body workout at home. Like I said, it's going to be a little more advanced, but it could be tailored to any level, so... Like always, like you guys don't know how I like to start, I like to train my shoulders first. So we're going to be working shoulders first now. So the first exercise I'm going to be getting into, which I'm going to be going for reps. Hold on, guys. What's up? There's water here. So go in my car and you got to get the clean bottle. There's things in there. Yeah. Go in my car. Alright, so, yo, Hamza, what's good, brother? Thank you for tuning in. Who else is in here? Yo, Germany, MB, big ups, Aiden, I'm glad you're back. So, like I said, we're starting with shoulders. As you guys, if you guys were tuned in in the beginning, warmed up with a few shoulder rotations with the bar. With, well, I have a stick here, a wooden stick. I did 10 reps, pronated, and I went to the more advanced version. Supinated grip position, starting behind your back. This is a more advanced version. This is very tough and, and is almost a complete shoulder dislocate. So you guys watch from the back. All the way forward, back around. Back around. That's extreme shoulder mobility. These are gonna be really healthy exercises you guys be working on to work on your shoulder mobility and range of motion. If you guys are used to, if you guys ever train on the rings, skin the cats and all that, excellent workouts you guys can do on the rings. So, yeah, Aiden, start with a resistance band because the resistance band is going to allow you to pull for tension as you come around and you get stuck. Once you get good with a resistance band, that's when you want to move to PVC pipes and stagnant objects like this wooden stick because on a wooden object, you can no longer pull for slack. Wherever your hands are, that's where your mo mobility is. Yo, thank you, Eddie. We on that new shit. New camera. All right, guys. So like I said, start with shoulders. I'm going to be doing a combo of an L-sit to a bent arm planche hold. I'm going to be going for three to five reps per set. So this is going to be more in the strength-based range, working in that lower volume. Because This is going to be a heavy low to high taxing, high intensity of a body weight exercise for myself. So we're going to be going from L-sits to bent arm planche holds. Now, if you guys can't do this exercise, you guys are going to do tuck holds to just rotations, and I'll show you the scalable down version for the shoulder exercise to start. So I'm going to do my version first, set one, and then I'll demonstrate the be beginner and the easier pro uh, regression version of it. We got some rock on today. I still dance like I'm listening to rap, though. All right, so L6 to bent arm planche holds. I'm going for three to five reps per set now. That was the advanced version. That is not an easy exercise. So, very stressful on the shoulders. A lot of core too. This, this song is What It's Like by Everlast. We got Pandora on today. And you already know guys, get some merch. Yo, Greg, I'm gonna show you the easier version right now, brother. So, like I said, this is Yo, Flow Ride, what's good, bro? Thank you for tuning in. So, like I said, this is more of a strength building move. The intensity is high. The load 
my body weight being the load for this exercise, it's tough. That bent arm position is a lot of stress on the shoulders. Elsa, not so bad. When you get into that tough bent, when that into that bent arm plants position, very stressful on the whole entire body, upper body, glutes, everything, shoulders especially. So I'm gonna be taking three minutes in between each set now. But right now I'll demonstrate the beginner variation. So, beginners, all you guys are gonna do, you're gonna go in a tucked L-sit hold, tucked L-sit, and you're gonna rotate up into a straight arm planche hold. Tuck, here, there. So the beginner version, the reason why you're gonna be doing the straight arm version, it, well, the, usually bent arm exercises are a little easier than straight arm exercises, right? Straight arm is gonna involve a lot more front delt. Bent arm, a little more bicep, overall upper chest, front delt as well. But for you guys that aren't ready for that, the reason why I'm doing a bent arm is because my whole body now is fully extended. There's more leverage as opposed to being tucked when you're in a tuck position, your body's half of the length, right? So the leverage and the intensity of the load is pretty much half of what it would be fully extended. I can't do a full planche yet, so I have to go into that bent arm version to assist me with the leverage. But for those of you who can't get into that version yet, you guys wanna be working on more straight arm strength, going from that tucked L-sit, that tucked L-sit, keeping the arm straight, and then going into that tuck planche hold. I'll demonstrate one more time. So, beginner version, you want to hit these for reps. Tuck, keeping the arm straight, raise the lower back, back down, keeping that L the whole time. So you're maintaining that tuck position from the tucked L to the tucked planche position. Straight arm movement, all the movement is coming from the shoulder joint. Now you're increasing my rest time. There's fatigue in my shoulders even more right now. We're doing five sets of my version. I got four rounds left, so let's get it. Go get a water bottle, man. Four K. You went? How many you did? Throw the tens on. Do another ten. We got Jackie here deadlifting today. I'll show you when she's doing her set. She's shy. She don't want to be seen today. I got the world. Yo, these are uh, live above the ball. You already know, Hamza. L sits are great for the core. These dip bars are called Labert Equalizers. I actually used to be affiliated with them. Where they, I used to get them sent for me to, for, for free. I used to promote them. These are uh, honestly like six years old now. I haven't worked with the company in some time. That's just my fault. I stopped posting. And stop doing yo, shout out to Jackie. Yo, she's setting up the weights. Oh shit, she's hiding. But she got the deadlift bar set. She's got the deadlift bar set, guys. So, LeBert equalizers. I definitely recommend you getting them for at-home training. Really effective, you can do a lot on them. Push-ups, all upper body, we can do back on them. We can train front levers on them, reverse deadlifts, excellent home piece of equipment. And that's free promo. Maybe they'll see this and start sending them again. Yo, Jack, can I record me on your phone while I do this, please? Let me record my set too. I'm going for my second set. Yeah, Eddie Holmes, get them, bro. They're cheap too. I'm pretty sure they're under $100. You're going to hold it sideways to me. You weak, but still your secret stock can't keep. Granted, all the times I never let you down. As two sets down, we got three more of those to go before we move on to the next exercise. Remember, shoulders, then we're training chest, then we're in it back. It's a lot of core strength, you already know. A lot of upper body strength, you're gonna build a ton. 
of strength in the upper body. And like I mentioned, if you guys watched my previous videos, two videos ago when I explained strength training, hypertrophy training, power training, endurance training, all modalities will build muscle. Just because something's called hypertrophy and it's supposed to be the best range for building muscle, whatever you're not used to doing will cause the most stimulus for your body because you're not used to doing it. Your body adapts pretty quickly to what you get used to. Yo, Barzan fam, what up, brother? Uh, eight. Eight. Woo! Jackie got 115 on the ball. I'm gonna show them your set. No. I'll just show them a little bit. Come on, just go. All right, I'll show them when you go more weight. She's nervous today, guys. Go, let me see that form. It's all right. All right, I'm not gonna show her. She's training in a PJ. Keep that back straight. Head straight, don't, don't tilt your head. This girl likes to look at me when she's fucking doing her sets, bro. I know I'm good looking, but damn. Focus on yourself. Oh, it is, yo, you do feel that in the hamstrings a lot. Yeah, so strength training won't put as much size on overall as if you're doing more hypertrophy in that six to 12, six to 15 rep range, just because the volume is overall lower in general, right? Volume is the key driver of hypertrophy. So the more volume you're gonna get, the bigger the muscle will get over time. So when working that strength training, five by five, the goal is to get stronger, not really put on size, but when you're stronger, you can then lift more weight in that hypertrophy rep range. So they go hand in hand. You wanna train in, you wanna try to incorporate all methods. Yo, uh, this is barnaturalfitness.com, B-A-R-N, oh, you guys are talking about LeBert Fitness, yo, I'll write that for you, but yo, don't forget, check out the gear, barnaturalfitness.com, those are called L-E-B-E-R-T, LeBert Equalizers, that's what those bars are called, free promo, and we got three more sets to go still, three more, woo! Let's go! Ha! Light work. Cut it to four reps that set. I felt like it was getting a little sloppy, and I want to keep them as clean as solid form as possible each rep. When the volume's low and you're working on that strength training, you want the quality to be on point every rep. And again, it's very taxing on the core, shoulders, everything. And like my, someone mentioned earlier, you're gonna squeeze your glutes, it's gonna hit hamstrings too. It's gonna teach you that full body act activation. Yo, Andy, go on. If, um, if you're having a problem on the website, you should be able to input all, all your information. It's going to get sent to me. And I don't know where to send it. But if you're having a problem, just send me a DM on my Instagram, Prez, and I'll hit you back up. Eddie Holmes, good shit, bro. When you order it, say, yo, Prez recommended these. If you can. If they give a thing, oh, say Prez. And yo, don't forget guys, Griffin Moss, get yourself some sea moss, man. That shit is amazing. I went on my, when I was in Mexico, I went like a week without it. And I'm telling you, you notice the difference when you're taking that. Feel a lot better, a lot more energetic when I'm on my sea moss. So check out at Griffin Moss. Can we make a video about using the hollow body and how to use the hollow body for... Yeah, bro, I do a lot of hollow body work in, in ring training, too. I, I demonstrate a lot of hollow body type holding movements, especially on the rings. You can do hollow body holds just on the bar here, too. Come on. Hold on.
Gotta throw more weight on for Jackie. Put this on. 145 shit max. Aim for set to three. It's light for you, trust me. Let me give you some chalk. Jackie's stacking, you already know. Building and shout you out. Thank you, thank you. Can you say hi? No, she doesn't want to say hi today. I'm sorry. She's in her PJs, guys. She's nervous. Huh? It's cold in here too. Well, it's cold out. She wants to stay warm. All right. Set four. I showed you guys the beginner version, so don't think you can't do this. I'll demonstrate it again. Yo, R. Sam, what's good, bro? Get them shoulders big. You already know shoulders, the pinnacle of the physique. You want your body to look wide? Yeah, the lats are gonna make, make you wider, but the shoulders are gonna be the pinnacle. That's where your lats are gonna connect you. So you got big shoulders, you get that nice wide taper. Woo! Let's go. One more set. You already know, guys. Live above the bar. You've seen it here first. Always P, you mean overhead press or one-handed one pull-up? Overhead press, king. You guys seen it here on when we were training Tuesday with the German volume training, 10 by 10. But if you can't do overhead press, if you're just doing body weight training, just do handstands, handstand push-ups. It's gonna mimic that overhead press. And if it's too easy for you, go slow, do slow negatives. So far away. You win yet? Yeah. How many you did? Easy? Oh, today you're strong. You want to throw a little more on? No. So stay. You have five sets of three. So four more sets. So Jackie's doing strength training too. She's got 145 on her bar today. She's doing sets of three. She's done way. She's hit 185 before. But uh, she took some time off too. She was deep. She didn't even deload. She just took time off Mexico and then because I deloaded, she just took a little break and now she's back. So she's hitting 145 for three today. All right, let me show you guys the beginner variation one more time. So, if you're a beginner and you can't do the L sit to the tuck to the full bent arm planche hold, you want to just do these. Remember, tucked L, tucked L sit, and back, up, and back, and you want to try to control it as slow as possible each rep. That's the beginner variation, that's the regression. Oh, trust me, doing that is gonna build a lot of core strength, a lot of front delt strength, and again, it's gonna teach you how to be aware of your body through space. You are now moving your body through space. What happens when you're in the gym? You're moving weights through space, right? And you gotta keep your body braced or else you're gonna be sloppy, right? When you're doing calisthenic moves like this, skill training, you now have to learn to now, instead of moving an external weight through space, you have to learn to move your body through space. We can walk around, right, easy, we can move fluidly, but when it comes to manipulating gravity and fighting against gravity, using your body to slow down and move through range of motion, a lot harder, it's a lot more focus, a lot more central nervous system activation than just sitting around throwing around weights. That's the benefit of body weight training. There you go, hit some corner dips. There you go, hit some corner dips. I'll be 
All right, set five, let's go. All right, we're going V sit. We're going to try to go V sit right now first. But fuck it. That was my set five of that. We got one more exercise for shoulders to do, and we move on to chest. Make them yourself and you do it right, it'll cost you less than $30 to make that. Probably on like the $20 side. Aminos, creatine, glutamine, and that's it on water. Yo, what's good? What's, what's questions? Yo, Jay the Bar Guy, what's good, my bro? Oh, my singing's rough. Ha, <laughs> thanks, bro. I appreciate it. My name's Elvis, though, so I mean, I should, I should naturally sing good. Yes, overhead press, roast. And uh, rack pose, hell yeah, bro. I love all three of them. Neck training, I don't do it. And if the, the book that I, one of my favorite books, Building the Classic Physique, he's b very big on neck training. Nobody, nobody really trains their neck. I mean, more power to you if you're doing it. Exactly, closed chain versus open chain movements. Humza, you a smart man, brother. Flow ride, thank you. I'm glad you like the music today. All right, we got, all right, so look. Next move for shoulders, I'm going into handstand. I'm gonna be doing handstand negatives and isometric holds. I'm gonna be working slow reps right now. For those who can't do freestanding handstands, or if you can do them and you can't do them on P-bars, you can practice on the floor. And if not, you're gonna kick up on a wall and I'll show you guys how to start kicking up on a wall after I do my set. Y'all can see, right? Woo, my shoulders are lit right now. Woo, my legs are lit, everything is fucking lit. This workout is fucking lit. All right, guys, ready? Five second lockout. Three, four, five. Five seconds at 90. Two, three, four, five, ah, and then it drops. Oh. All right, so what I wanted to do was five second lockout. Five second 90 degree hold, and then five second hold at full range of motion, nose to the floor hold. Didn't really go as planned. Set one. Set one's usually the worst set. Again, muscles got activated, nervous system got to know what I'm doing. I didn't even warm up with a regular handstand, went right into it after those five sets. Told you my shoulders are fatigued right now. So that's my set. If you guys can't do them on the P bars yet, and you're just learning your handstands, just go max handstand hold for time on the floor. Just the regular handstand hold. Who else can do all this shit? And then, if you're learning to do a handstand, all you gotta do is get a wall, take your shoes off, 
Don't want to stain your wall. Look, get as close to the wall as possible. About, I would recommend going about four to six inches off the wall with your hands back to the wall first. All you guys want to do, look, kick up, come back down when you're starting, when you're learning. Kick up, come back down. Get yourself comfortable just getting yourself upside down. That's what's the most hard problem for, that most people have in the initial start of the handstand. They're just not comfortable being upside down. You're disoriented. You live your whole life on your feet, upright, right? So now you gotta invert, completely opposite movement, right? All the blood's gonna rush to your head. You got balance on your hands. Your hands have to support you instead of your legs, right? So just get comfortable by just doing simple kick up, right back down. Once you get comfortable there, then just start. Instead of coming back down, now you gotta start building strength in the shoulders, right? And endurance in the shoulders. The way you're gonna do that is by holding yourself in the handstand position. When you're back to the wall, it's gonna, when your body's on the wall, it's gonna eliminate resistance, obviously, because now half your body weight is supported by the wall, you're no longer freestanding, you don't have to worry so much about the balance aspect, and you're really not gonna bust your ass by falling backwards because the wall is there. The only thing that'll happen is your arms will give out, God forbid, and you fall down, but when you feel you're gonna fall, you just bend, your, bend from the waist, collapse your legs, and jump back down to start a position. So, when you get a couple of the kickups, all you gotta do, again, close to the wall, kick up, now we're gonna hold, and look straight through. Head through your hands, just like that, come back down. So all these are scalable. Beginners, get a couple just kicking up. Then once you get used to that, start doing holds on the wall. Then you can move to the floor freestanding. Then you can get on the parallel bars and start doing them. On your P bars, building more strength and stabilization in the shoulders and overall body strength and awareness. So, Jackie, come on, you take it to my own Let's go. Let's go. Just to show the weight she's got on, and there's her pajamas. Let's go, they can't see your face. Get the rep in, let's go, they can't see your face. No face, no case, no face, no case. Woo, look at that form. See, she got, she's, she's really repping. She's really repping. All right, let's go. Set two. All right, five, five, five. Let's get it. Easy money, light work. Come on. See what happens when you rest between your sets and you focus, the central nervous system is activating. After set one, you get way more body control. That is a perfect set. I gotta get that one on film. Next. Woo! How many you did total? Four? All right, you got one more. And then you got some stiff legs with the dumbbells. Or you could do, um, you should do some chin-ups. Maybe. Yeah, bro, you need to get that rest time in. Rest is key. You gotta focus, bro. Yo, Jay the Bargar, what's good? What's good, my brother? What's popping? Yo, rack pulls will really hit your neck, too. Those nice traps, also. Yo, ah. so it's a strength training at its finest. One on one, body weight only, at home workout. I'm giving you guys the tools to do this for every level. You guys need no equipment. 
and you guys can build a crazy physique, strong, chiseled body, just training like this. You don't need anything fancy. I showed you how to make these P-bars. Trust me, watch that video, make them. Look, home gym, Labert equalizers and P-bars. That's a home gym to train full body, legs included, for about $100, maybe a little less. Maybe $120, I don't know how much the Liberts are now. But if you get my discount code, if I get one back, they'll be under 100. So let them know I'm sending you, tag them. I'm gonna make, it, I'm gonna make an IG video of the whole workout too, so. Woo. All right, let's go, ready? Light work, set three. Oh, my shoulders are fucking burnt right now. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, bro. I have a med ball for years. It's been one of my staple movements for all my clients. And when I wanted to get cut, I would do it myself. Trust me, medicine ball slam. I got a 30 pound med ball. I do it with Biggie all the time. It's a game, trust me. Bro, rep out slams is a whole different type of ball game. A lot of metabolic stress, a lot of power is being built, a lot of explosiveness, and it'll burn a ton of calories. So I treat them like burpees, I'll rep them out. Bro, get at least a 30 pound. I recommend the brand Spree, S-P-R-I. I've had it, like I said, seven years now. Not one tear in it, it's held up for seven years of numerous clients slamming it of all different surfaces. I think you should just keep deadlifting, babe. I think you should just keep that right there. It's gonna hit everything, yeah, everything. I'm not, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, I'm just saying, you don't gotta do anything else there, just deadlift. Hit 10 sets of deadlift. Like I said before, in my leg video, I'm doing yes. So don't take what I'm doing today for, for as an example of what normally I would be doing in the gym or with compound movements, right? So that's why I have Jackie training deadlifts. I just said, just do deadlifts today. I'd rather her do 10 sets of deadlifts than her stop and try to do something else, you know, to work on her glutes or something. The staples, the keys, the basics, getting better at them over time, doing more repetitions of that movement is gonna make you the better athlete. Trust me, like I said, don't be, don't try to be the person who can do 10,000 things. Be the person who tries one thing 10,000 times and masters it. That's how you get better and better at things. Yeah, Confucius say, Elvis say. <sighs> Let's go. We gotta get this on tape. Please record this one. Fueling up. They're 10, 10, and 15, yeah. They're bumper plates. They're meant to be the size of an Olympic plate at lighter weight. Ready? Set four, guys. Let's go. No, sideways, babe. This girl's almost about to pull me up, right? You recorded before sideways, right? Too good. And don't get the camera in. Shut up. I know what I'm doing. Let me see it. This girl just likes to play games with me, bro. Like, I can't do it again if I wanted to. 
Come on, Jay. You gotta get a little better angle than that. What do you mean like you had a little better angle? You told me to stay away from the camera. Just, no, it's fine. Where the hell did you want me to go? I mean, this, this, like, your lighting sucks. That's not my fault. Okay. Not a thank you. Thank nothing, you. I appreciate nothing it. Thank you. Nothing good to say. Thank you. Nothing good to say. Thank you. All right, we're going to do one more set of that. Then move on to chest. We will record one more time. What up, what up, ask me something, ask me something. <laughs> Yo, Mike Nav, he said, what up? He said, say thank you. I already always say thank you. Let's go, we got one more set. Come on, baby. Record this one. Okay. Come on, Mars. Come here. Would you like me to stand? Come. I'll move this out of your way. Y'all can still see, right? Good. We should have got good lighting, though. Oh, but I, it's just a bad angle for All lighting. All right, right. That's better for what you want to tell you. Sorry, It's your. Maybe if you had a curtain on your fucking glass door, the then down. the lighting wouldn't be so bad. Set five, let's go. Start. Woo! All right. So wrap the shoulders. Facts, Hamza. Ha, <laughs> facts. They love your New York accent. Thank you. Thank you, she says, guys. All right, she got a good one. She got a good one. Yo, so five sets of the L sit to the bent arm planche holds. Five sets of handstand variation. And the reason why I did handstand second is I can do handstands already no matter what. But it's gonna make your shoulders a little more fatigued from training the other movements first. So when you go to train your handstand, whatever level you're at, you're gonna get more of a stimulus in the shoulders. So when you go to do them fresh, they'll be a lot easier also. So now we're gonna hit some chest. Hold on, what was your question? What was your question? Hit pull-ups, hit push-ups, pull-ups and squats and sit-ups every day. 200 reps of each. Um, you won't need to really do that in order to get 80 push-ups in two minutes. But, so 200 push-ups, 200 pull-ups, 200 sit-ups a day, 200 squats a day in the beginning will probably be tough, but your body will adapt to it and it'll become routine for you. And it will really, after a while, it will produce less benefit than it would in the beginning when you first started doing it. I'm not saying it's a bad idea to start if that's what you want to do, but there's other methods that you got that you can work on to increase your reps. Follow my video on how to increase your push-ups. You don't gotta do it more than two, three times a week. Same thing with the pull-up training. And you can alternate that, and I guarantee you your reps will go up. What up, dude? 25 what? Rep? Okay, so what do you wanna do? Just hit 30 total. Yeah. 
All right, chest. Go straight with your chest. All right. You lower this. All right, so chest. I got the weight belt with me. I got extra weight. But last time we did this, we were doing 10 sets of 10. German volume training, weighted dips, right? So I'm going to tell this routine now. For those who have no weight, so it's going to be a complete body weight chest routine. It's going to be more working on those giant sets. Like I told you guys in my previous video, so we're going to do high volume sets now for chest. So we're going to hit to start. So you guys don't have to do, if you guys don't have these bars, you guys could use chairs for this. You'd want to set three chairs up. So first we're going to do push-ups. We're going to do three movements in one set. So the first exercise is going to be a deep push-up. So you guys can actually do these if you have your PVC pipes or you can put your feet up on something. What I'm going to use is the Laverne equalizers and I'm going to put my feet up on the couch. So we're going to go 6 to 12 reps of a 3 second negative push-up, exploding up. 3 seconds down, explode up. 3 seconds down, explode up. That's going to be the first movement for the chest. Then we're going to go on to two back-to-back -back exercises working in that giant set fashion. Get a lot of volume to the chest now because we're hitting body weight only set. So, like I said, three seconds down, one second up. Straight from those four second push ups, right into dips. Now, again, if you don't have these Laverne equalizers, you guys could use chairs for your dips. I demonstrated it before in previous videos at home workout how to use chairs to do dips. So, now we're gonna go again 10 to 12 reps, same tempo, slow reps down, exploding up. I like to say in that 6 to 12 rep range, so I call 8 reps there again. Nice 2 to 3 second negative, explode up, slow down the reps. Now we're going to take it to the floor for diamond push-ups. So the third exercise that you want to hit, again, now like I said before, diamond push-ups are going to target more of the mineral in the inner chest because your humerus is now placed across your body more. Constant flexion of the chest. So same thing, 10 to 12 reps here. We're going down, exploding up as fast as we can. Down, explode up. Down, explode up. that 6 to 12 rep range. I call 8 reps. I didn't want to go to failure. Remember, you want to keep the reps just short of failure so you have enough in the tank for the next one, even though that was... So three exercises in one set. That was the last exercise in the set. We got three more rounds of that for chest. So slow, three second down, explosive up, one rep up, one, one second up, explosive rep push-ups. 
six to 12 reps. Right in the same thing, slow negative dips, exploding up, six to 12 reps, and then diamond push-ups, down, exploding up, down, explode up, down, explode up, six to 12 reps, that's one set. We're gonna aim for three to five total rounds of this, minimal breaks here, about 60 to 90 seconds, then we're gonna move on to back. So compared to the shoulder sets, the shoulder sets like you guys saw, the volume was relatively low. It was one rep, one to five reps on the initial workout, total per set, right? So the volume was relatively low. Did 10 rounds total for shoulders. Now one set of chest alone, I'm hitting close to 30 reps. So in five sets of this, I'll hit almost triple the amount of reps I hit than doing 10 sets of shoulders. But now again, the load is different, the intensity is different. I could rep out a lot more with my body weight. That's why you have to manipulate your body weight to make the intensity greater. That's why you're slowing down the reps, manipulating the intensity to get you in that hypertrophy range to work around that 60 to 80% intensity. Straight out for a second, right into dips. Not easy sets. All right, we're 54 minutes in right now. Full the body work, we hit shoulders. Halfway done with chest now. Still got back to go. Ten by ten will kill you. Ten by ten is a great way to build up overall volume too. It will help you with your endurance. Keep the break periods relatively short. Thank you, bro. Reservoir doors. That's classic shit right there. You know, so right now this set is not handstand push-ups. This set right here for chest is three second down, one second up. Explosive deep push-ups. So you want to have a surface where your chest can get through. Then it's Slow negative dips exploding up, then it's diamond push-ups, that's one set. The handstand push-ups were from the shoulder training. We trained shoulders first, now we're training chest.
Let's go. Set three. Told you we want to keep the brakes relatively short here. 60 to 90 seconds. I'm telling you, the burn is crazy in these sets. That's why you got negative, you really feel the, the stretch in your chest down. That's key. Feel your chest, your chest stretch out and explode up, pressing through, squeezing your chest on top. Let's go. Ah! Chest grow, let's get it. Come on, diamonds. The set three right here. See, the pump is real right now. Upper body is lit. On that bulk, you already know. I don't know how to do that last spread. I'm gonna learn it though. Gotta wait a minute so Jackie can record set three. Oh, come on. I mean, so she can record set four. Fuck it, I'm gonna do set four. She record set five.
fuck. Woo! That shit is not easy. Switch the view up for y'all. Let's go. Two more reps. Come on, diamonds. Ooh, one more rep. I'm helping him record a video. What are you doing today? That's four sets. Do I want one more? Alright, we're cold out. Please, just one. Love you. Damn. Low battery just came up. Yo, we gotta get this back sessions in soon, quick. All right, we got one more set for chest. Then we we'll get into back for you guys. Hopefully I can finish it, not yet, Jack, not yet. Hopefully I can finish the whole routine before my shit dies. I'm on a, this got the 10% marker. We record on the iPhone 12 right now. That's why the video's clear. But I got my stuff on do not disturb, so we had no interruptions. So we got one more set of chest, and then back for you guys, and uh, even though, even if the shit is gonna cut off, I'm gonna get some back sets in to show you hopefully, let's go. One more set of chest, I need a minute. To get a fresh set so I can record it. One more. How do you stay lean? How do I stay lean during the bulk? You don't want to, you, that's the key. When you're bulking, too, people want to be in too much of a surplus. Listen, you want to keep the surplus minimal. I don't go over a 250 calorie a day surplus and I'm resistance training daily. Or when I'm, and then when I'm not resistance training, I'm eating almost around maintenance. Maybe slightly, maybe, maybe 100 calories over maintenance. So I don't overdo it with the calories, that's the thing. People want to do 500 calorie a day surplus trying to gain a pound a week. You gain a pound a week, in 10 weeks you're gaining 10 pounds, 50% is going to be fat. You're not gaining 10 pounds of muscle. Slow and steady, you want to minimize the fat buildup, maximize the muscle building. So, and if you're bulking, you should be for, if you're doing it correctly, you could be bulking for up to like three months steady without losing Without gaining much fat, that's the goal. So I'm really trying to hit that 170 mark by what's Feb it's almost February already. I'm giving myself May-ish to try to get to 170, and that, I've been trying since November now. So let's see how it happens. I'm around 163. I had a little setback going on a vacation, coming on the D-load, like I told you guys. But we're still up there. I'm at 163 right now. Seven pounds to go in three months. That gives me... That's... Two and a half pounds a month. That's not that bad. So that's the goal right now. Let's see if we can make it happen. All right, let's go. Last set of chest, and then we'll go right to the back. Come on. Record this for me. So let's take three movements. You got a good angle? Hold up. You can move this over. That's good. Good. Good.
Keep going. To wrap the chest, we got back up here again. Hold on. Where are we at right now? Woo! Damn. I'm only 6% by, uh, six percent uh, battery left. So, Aiden, so what you want when you're dipping, it's a little hard to demonstrate because you're kind of low. But you do not ever want to be upright like this, right? You never want to be in that external rotation. So look, watch. Never upright like this, right? You always want to be almost rounded, protracted in that hollow body shoulder position. So lockout should look like this. Round. I'm a little fatigued right now, so it might be a little sloppy, but you're never going to see me upright when my shoulder's externally rotated. Never. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one round of back in. Cause I'm on six percent uh, battery left right now. I might. Just, I don't want to just die on you guys mid set. So I'm gonna show you guys. Listen, I'm gonna be ending with five sets of back right now. I'm gonna demonstrate the advanced version of the movement I'm gonna be doing, and I'll also show you the body weight variation that you guys can do. If you have these LeBert equalizers at home, and if not, you could also do this with two chairs at home. And if not, I recommend, like I said, this is a full home workout using minimal equipment. So I recommend you guys try, try to make the parallel bars or get yourself one of these equalizers that really come in handy. So I'm going to get right into my first set of back so I can show you a couple sets hopefully. So what I'm going to do, boom, beautiful. You guys can see, right? So I'm going to be doing another advanced movement. I'm going to be doing tucked front lever rows. So front lever, as you guys know, opposite of a plank, the straight body movement, straight arm movement, full body extended, right? Opposite of being in a push-up, feet floating in gravity, etc. right? So I'm going to be doing the tuck version, and I'm going to be doing rows. So now if you guys can get into this position but you're not strong enough to do rows you guys can just do this for holds isometric holds for time and the, just holding in that position will build a ton of strength in the pulling muscles in the back in the scap and in all the muscles that you really need for the front lever so i'm going to show you a few variations of the tuck ready so look my version i'm going to do more of an advanced tuck row right so i'm going to be repping out rows so i'm going to come off the floor right Back is straight, hips are open. Very, very effective at what giving you that width. Rows, bank over barbell rows, CDK rows in the gym, any type of row in that. This would be considered more of like, this wouldn't be a vertical pulling motion. This would be still considered horizontal in my eyes because you're still doing more of a row targeting the widthness of the back. Remember, vertical would be like lat pull downs, 
pull-ups, bring that vertical plane, frontal plane. Now, when we come more in that tuck position, more in the sagittal plane, working also more of that uh, bent arm strength as well. So, and if you can't do those reps, like I said, you guys can do isometric holds. So I'm gonna show you guys the advanced open tuck with my hips open like I was just doing. I'll back this up a little bit for you guys. Maybe I should switch the angle up. Maybe this will help you out a little better. So, hips open is the advanced tuck. Hips closed is the more beginner tuck. So, I'm gonna go from advanced tuck, hips open, you see that? Hips are open, to closed. Now my hips are closed. Open, closed. Hold up, I'm getting a delivery. That's Scooby. All right, so and again. Oh, this fucking guy, bro. All right, so. And now, if you guys are not strong enough to do a tucked row or a tucked isometric hold yet, you guys can do these body weight regular rows, right, on the equalizer. So, all you're gonna need to do, you're gonna take both equalizers now, hold them in a neutral grip, palm facing each other, right? You're gonna lay flat out, raise from the hips, lift your hips up, everything tight, and you're gonna perform rows. And that's how you scale the exercise down to your level. Whether you're doing the advanced rows, the, uh, the regression, to the isometric row holds, or just doing regular body weight rows, North Australian pull-ups, scalable for all levels. So that was one round. I'm gonna go through one more round before I have to shut this off, and my camera's gonna die. Yo, you get the dip bars on Amazon, LeBert Equalizers, or, yo, go on Instagram, go on their page, LeBert Equalizer, DM them, be like, yo, Bar Natural Prez is showing us all the workouts to do, Start sending him more, uh, more bars. I told you, I used to get sent these bars for free back in the day. I stopped, I stopped posting, so I pretty much lost my affiliation. Go on Instagram, tag them, and yo, I hit 11K on YouTube. You know what that means, right? A giveaway is coming. Stay tuned for that, it'll be this weekend. So maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Now nah, we got one more set to show you, George. One more set, giveaway is coming. I got one more round. All right, advanced tuck rows. I'll show you guys again. Open hips and broke. And if you can't do that, hold isometric hold. Closed or open, whether whatever level you're at. So beginners, you stay closed like this. Keep your hips closed. More advanced, open up. And the more you open up your hips, the more stretch, the more stress you're gonna put on the lats, the more leverage as your body opens up more, more leverage that gravity is gonna get hitting down on. And that's how you manipulate your body weight. And again, I'll show you, if you can't do either one, you just get on your equalizers like this. Get into an Australian quick pull-up position, neutral grip, everything tight, throat roll, pull your body up from the elbows. So, my phone's about to die. I got three more rounds of this to do, but five rounds total on back. Thank you everyone who tuned in. There's a full upper body at home, calisthenics only. I use no weights, body weight only. Scalable, chest, shoulders, back for muscle growth and strength. Hope you guys enjoyed the routine. Share the video. Don't forget, leave some comments. Let me know what you want to see next. Don't forget, guys, subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. And a, uh, a giveaway is coming soon. 
Peace out. Bar Naturals.